in an era dominated by player safety. LSU Director of Athletic Training Jack Marucci is spearheading revolutionary ways to study athletes' movement and exertion to make the game as safe as possible. I, I think what we found in our research here at LSU, what it's allowed us to do is we looked at data from probably the last 12 years and we saw a pattern that it was very interesting that we saw from a repetitive blow standpoint. So we had some ideas. Dr. Bales, who's a um, LSU graduate who also was part of the movie Concussion, uh, he's also on the committees of the NCAA, NFL, uh, in their concussion research. So we had an idea, let's start looking at sensors, and this was probably five, six years ago. And what we did, we looked at multiple sensors, so we started out with a very crude type sensor, and um, we were trying to study the patterns of repetitive type blows. So we felt it was like a, a boxer. So if a boxer's taken multiple blows, um, then they finally, you know, you see them drop or you see a boxer, you know, get knocked out. Uh, we felt like that was very similar to the offensive lineman because we saw 75% of our concussions were interior linemen. So we had to have a, a way to prove that and a way to try to try to make the game even safer from a, a standpoint. So. Where we are today, uh, we use the uh, Head Health Network, and uh, it's a pretty neat system because it's clean. The player doesn't know it's it's uh, inside their helmet. You know, we plug it in, we charge it every night, and um, our graduate students do a great job on monitoring each player and and their data. Every night after practice, we grab all the helmets. Um, we have a list of which ones have the sensors in it, and we make sure that they get plugged in. Um, we have a big charging station that they all get plugged into. And um, before every practice, the next morning, because they charge overnight, um, or I guess the next afternoon, we set them all out on a table, and the guys whose helmets are there, they instinctively now know that theirs is there, so they just come through and grab it. During practice, I work with John. Um, when, so say, someone on defense takes a red hit, I get a notification from the, um, the modem picks up that data and then sends it to our phones. And when that data comes to me, if it's one of his athletes, I go over and say, hey, just check on so-and-so, make sure that hit wasn't too bad, or sometimes they don't even realize they got hit. So I was in the NFL, uh, worked there for about four years, and we, what, the focus was more on what types of helmets we were using, not really what numbers we were getting from the uh, helmets. We didn't have sensors, we didn't use those things. Um, how it's really helped uh, now is at practice, it's easier to have eyes everywhere. You know when someone gets hit, you can see, and all it basically gives you eyes over the entire field. You can see who's getting hit, how hard they're getting hit, and you can check in on people. And it's not only is it a way for us to get good data to go forward with studies, but it also helps us as athletic trainers get uh, have a better coverage of practice and make it safer. As this research and technology progresses, Marucci serves a key role in the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of injuries for the LSU Athletics Department.